Hello, sick people. Welcome to another episode of MDKD's Ratings. In today's episode, I'll play Path of a Marble 2, Blooming Onions, and The Witcher. Now, let's switch to the gameplay footage. Alright, and now we're playing Path of a Marble 2 by Addictex. Things are very quiet right now. But, that might change. Go! Alright. Now playing Losing Marbles. And I think the soundtrack was made by Dictix himself and... I mean, obviously I already played this level. Now this is actually a kind of confusing part here. Like, do you need to press them together? And hold them? Or do you need to press them very quickly? Alright, there you go. Kind of lengthy section, but we made it. Alright, little marble, come here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alrighty, come on. Okay, we need to hurry up. Oh my goodness, no! Alright, let's see. Let's get a few points here. Awesome. Very uh, simple looking uh, music. Um, <laughs> what? Very simple. <laughs> uh, let's let's not get too too deep into that. Very. Uh, Jesus Christ! Good looking music. <laughs> All right, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, the music is really cool. I really like it. The environment looks very simple and big. I guess I personally would have tweaked um, the material here. So that the tiling is a little bit different. Alright. This looks like a contraption of the movie song. And I'm not okay with that. Oh no, what have I done? Alright. Awesome. Let's get down here real quick. Hey, cool, what is this? Oh my goodness, they wanna kill me. No. Hey, we made it! That was Path of a Marble 2. I'll talk about this level in depth in the studio. Did you get the message? This is our park now. Get out! Alright boys, I am Paul. This place comes down next week. Alright, so here we have Bloomin' Onions by The Waffle King 23. What is this? A crossover episode? Let's keep going. All right. Where is everyone? Might as well get on top of these. So I wanted to play a level by the Waffle King and he suggested that I play Blooming Onions. What is this? Oh no, this makes the floor burn. Huh. Stupid bad guy. He forgot that there were boxes around. Alright. Let's keep going. I really like the scenery. Yeah, yeah, I really like the scenery. Alright, what do we have here? Some bombs. This is not no Ah! Oh man. Checkpoint is very, very limited. But alright, we are going to be fine. Ah! No! Ah! Jesus Christ! Can we do it, you might ask? Well, I'm pretty sure we can, but let's do it anyway. <laughs> awesome! 
They just want to leave because they're too scared of me. That's right. Leave. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Awesome. Okay, welcome to Gunter Jinja. Second least happy place. Gunter, what? Never mind, Kate. Now I got a lot of being cantigrous. Just drop a little cash in the box and see yourself out, won't you? Oh, the cats have. How do they hop off so quick? Yeah, I'm very, very slow with reading. Order, te order text is just way too fast. Here, have a few more extra coins. Awesome. Let's keep going. Ooh. Oh, man. That looks interesting. But, unfortunately. Time's up, I have to talk about this level in depth in the studio. Dear Geralt, I'm sure you're going well, traveling and slicing monsters in half, but I need us to meet in the White Orca Tavern. I would might have a favor to ask you, your eternal obligated and friend, Jasgir. P.S. Don't start a war for me, my old friend. I'm not in danger, I think. All right, and here we are in The Witcher by Sebat75. So, um, yeah. I'm not like a totally big Witcher fan. I played The Witcher 3 and I loved it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, just go away, you. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for you. It just sounds interesting. It, so it sounds like in all those memes with, um, uh, with, uh, what was his name again? Stephen Hawking. I, I don't know why, it just sounded that way. So, we are in this cave. And I absolutely love the music. Also, the music at the beginning was also pretty cool. I don't think I'll be able to travel um, on the ground, so let's just try to get upwards. We are in this cave and now let's get out. <clears throat> let's get to Igni. I do like the scenery, like it's pretty simple and stuff, but still pretty neat. I like it. I guess like the skybox in the background, which is not like a real skybox of course. I think it could move around a little bit slowly actually. We have quite some slowdown here. But that's fine. Awesome. Now let's keep going. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you play a game. You just... you just spam the button. Wait a minute. Oh, grab a floor. Ah, oh, minor thing. Ah! <clears throat> Alright. So, looks like I will need to talk about this level in depth in the studio. Alright, and now let's rate those levels. So, Path of a Marble 2 by Dictix. It has some simple gameplay, but it works well for the most part. Now there's a section where you need to press L2 and R2 rapidly, and it's very confusing for first time players, giving the player a hint that you need to press L2 R2 rapidly instead of holding it down would definitely help here. The level design is pretty simple for the most part, and I think the material appearance of many objects could be tweaked to make it look less rough. This is a good level. Now we have Blooming Onions by Waffle King. Now, there's a fair amount of neat gameplay elements here that were well implemented. 
Now there's also a boss fight that was challenging and sometimes tedious because I was spawn killed. There are also gaps between obstacles and I think those gaps could be fixed by adding some light platforming elements. Now this level has some cool environments put together by Waffle King, it also has a nice little story and you can meet Waffle King himself at the end. Now this is a great level. Now let's talk about The Witcher by Sabbath75. There are gameplay elements here from The Witcher series and those were well implemented. There are also enemies here and while they're not too challenging to fight they definitely add something to the level. Now this level has nice grasslands, a cave and it also has a cool sky background and I really like those things here. Now the level also has music from The Witcher and it was recreated in LBP with LBP's limited selection of instruments and I think it was really really well made. So I also want to talk about performance real quick in this level. The performance isn't good and I think it is caused by enemies already spawned in although the player is not even close to those sections. I think performance could be improved by basically spawning the enemies in only when the player is close to those sections. Anyway, this is a great level. Alright, looks like that's it with today's episode. Now, I need to thank Dictix and Waffle King and Sebert for making those nice levels. Thanks guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the levels. I hope some of the feedback helps. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.